Opposite hitter number seven, Pin Sarun. Middle blocker number 13, An Sokheng. Outside hitter number 15, Kun Mom. Middle blocker number 16, Paul Ratanak. Setter, their team captain, number 17, Sun Changnaro. Outside hitter number 20, Von Viasna. And their libero, number one, Kim Sumandara. Head coach for Cambodia is Lee Chun. Let us now make some noise for the starters for Philippines. Outside hitter number one, Brian Bagunas. Setter number three, Joshua Retamar. Middle blocker number six, Kim Malabunga. Opposite hitter and our team captain, number 10, John Vic de Guzman. Middle blocker number 12, Francis Saura. Outside hitter number 15, Mark Espejo. And their libero, number 16, Ricky Marcos. Head coach for the Philippines is Dante Alin Sunurin. Filipino, kaling natin ito. Kaya na po, handa ng sumabak sa aksyon ang Team Philippines na pinangungunahan ni Mark Espejo. We mentioned earlier, hindi po siya naglaro ng 2017 edition of the SEA Games that took place in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. But here in our home country, he is suited up and ready to go to battle para sa bayan. Alam mo, Anton, when you look at our uh, team composition, you can clearly see kung uh, talaga ang uh, mga best players natin, di ba? Ang uh, nagre-represent ng country. And uh, yung uh, sinasabi ko kanina nga, yung height advantage nila on the, maybe some other teams. And uh, even this in, in this group, talaga ang ganda ng composition, ang ganda ng uh, average height natin. Plus, you just know that these, these guys are going all out. But dahil April pa lang nang pa-practice na sila together. And that they've had a lot of bonding. The one you mentioned a while ago, yung 16-day trip na da. Of to, ano yun eh, more of togetherness, yes. diba? And that was recent. That was last yes. month in November. But mostly, perhaps the most surprising development here is the youngest player on the team, 19 years old, Josh Retamar. Siya ang ating starting right. setter. That is correct. And uh, uh, kausapin si Coach Dante. And uh, yun kagad yun nabanggit niya, no, that uh, eh, si Retamar nga mga gagamitin niya. So, alam mo, because this, these are first games uh, in today's game, games na nakita natin. So, ako sa akin, when you, uh, when it, clearly, I can see nagtatansyan pa yung mga teams natin. Uh, you are, it's an iffy that uh, they're putting in their best players in uh, their first game. So, let's see. Pero, sa starting lineup ni, ni Coach Dante, wala kang masasabi talaga. <laughs> Actually, sa buong lineup, wala kang masasabi. <laughs> sa buong lineup. Sa buong lineup. Kasi kahit Retamar, kahit Paul Barosa, alam mo yun? Kahit Jesse si, Lopez. Ka, oh my goodness, nalaan ko Jesse, no? Uh, this is a loaded lineup. That's right. And everybody, all of us, just can't wait to erupt and cheer on our squad and try to get this first W. Kasi nga, volleyball ang isa sa mga pinaka-inabangan sport dito sa 30th Southeast Asian Games. And uh, probably history will tell you that siguro kung sa tatlong teams na pwede nilang makalaban in their bracket, siguro it's, an, uh, it's a good start yes. na Cambodia muna yung makalaban nila today in their first match. But as you mentioned earlier, Mozi Cambodia has been playing with teams in Thailand, so you can't relax. You have to respect every nation that you go up against here in this competition. The youngest player on the lineup, 19 years old, Josh Retamar, starting off the first rally, pero ang una nakapuntos ang Cambodia. Natanak on that big hit. Agad-agad with that point. So Paul Natanak responding right away para sa kanyang bubanan ng Cambodia. Cargado agad yung atake, pero ito ang sagot, Saura. Responding from the middle, Francis Saura. And this is somebody who Coach Dante Lutzunurin trusts very much, being that he was the team captain for at least two years at NU. And uh, also, that's why Ritamar probably is inside in, at the beginning of this match. You just want to find that rhythm. And uh, I guess Ritamar will have the best connection to Saura and uh, Malabuga. And 
Magunas, of course. Magunas. So you just want to, you know, get that timing. And Marcus Pejo, the crowd just reacting to this. It's like a cannon being unleashed by Mark Espejo, and that's the first ace for Espejo and the Philippines. Wow. Mark Espejo getting a, an ace on that top serve. And with the rotation, Espejo put there to get the Philippines going right away, but unfortunately, his serve headed straight to the net. You know, I actually asked Coach Dan there the things that they were able to improve on in the, you know, it's the training. Nila. And uh, he said the implement, uh, implementation of the systems and net defense plus higher percentage sa kanila service and receive. So that's a good sign. But what about this? Mark Espejo from the back row, the Phenom, soaring and scoring for the Philippines. And clearly, no one expected that from Cambodia. Because I wouldn't react at all. And this is what you were talking about, Mosey. They have to have good floor defense as well. Cambodia showing us that they can also utilize some finesse in their game. This is Pien Sarun. Opposite hitter for Cambodia. Bagunas, his first attack is good. And Brian showing us that he's also a genius type of a player. He's not all power. That's right. That, that was an off speed hit from Bagunas. He's reading the defense of Cambodia well. Our captain, John Vic de Guzman. Here's the attack from Cambodia. Too much spice on that spike. The Philippines on top, six to three. Cambodia uh, trying to get a check, but no go. John Victor Guzman having to play the opposite hitter position here with this loaded lineup, Mosey. And meanwhile, Vesna able to break down the wall for Cambodia. That's right, Vesna getting in through. So, kulang pa yung ticket uh, uh, ng blockers. But uh, that, that is also the advantage of Retamar. You can see the tall center. Retamar going to the middle to kill Malabunga. And that was just a solid middle hit, quick hit from Malabunga. So, I like the distribution, Mosey. Malabunga, Espejo, Bagunas, and Saura have scored for the Philippines. And, uh, you know, credit half of that also to their uh, floor defense being able to uh, go for plays like this one. Espejo. At the first technical timeout, the score is 8-4 in favor of the Philippines. The crowd is going crazy in the early goings of this match. The point just moments ago. Substitution for Cambodia. Speed hit. Number 15 out. Yeah, number 9 of me. That's my hit. Players, you have Bagunas and Espejo in one. You know, like, <laughs> crazy nice. I know. When I was looking at the lineup, I was like, this team is loaded with firepower. And uh, I like the mix of uh, young ones with the uh, more veteran players. It's like giving them more uh, match-ups with the teams. But Sarun... Getting a point. Let's take a look at this once again. And that was not an easy offensive attack by Cambodia. Philippines having a hard time reading that attack. Espejo again. Blockers were there. Retamar. It's a back set. Gives it back to Mark Espejo. And triple block for Mark on those two attempts. So now they are marking Mark. Definitely a Mark man. <laughs> Cambodia with coach Lee Shun. Back to back points for Cambodia. And Sok Heng made sure that that ball would go in. And Espejo, or rather Bagunas, from the back row. See the flight of Bagunas. Look at him go for this one. Just so powerful. Going down the line. And that 
Pagunas on the right, Espejo on the left. Malabunga in the middle. Nine to seven. The captain for Cambodia, Son Chanaro. Over the seat, the joust up top, and Cambodia will get the point. My Raxby. Good reaction by him. I would talk to uh, Coach TV Santo Tomas, and he was uh, telling me about this Cambodian team. And he said that during the days of Marcus Pejo, they used to have tune up games in Thailand with this team, probably some of the members of this team. And they would really go five sets and be strong. You could get all the way really hard fought sets. And this is the reason why, even though Cambodia is not on the men's volleyball radar for Southeast Asian Games, I mean, if you look at the history, you know, they haven't attained any medal. So we can't take them lightly. There's the attack from the middle by Saura. Cambodia able to recover. Wow! Oh, wow. But the uh, credit half of that goes to Vandara. Their libero is able to pancake save. That it was uh, converted to a really good play. And this is a usual gesture by Coach Nante Litsunure telling his players to settle down. Espejo gets his third point of the match. Then all. An explosive start here. In Cambodia. Matching the Philippines' firepower so far. Already a full rotation in this match. Atamora serving. Oh, confused one on defense. Maya Raxme. Ever since he came in, Mozi, he's done some damage for Cambodia. That's right. And uh, Angeles, no, your coach really uh, right away sent him in. Victor Guzman wanting to make his presence felt gets his first point of the match. All right, he's team captain of this squad. Gets the draw through. And John Vic plays with a lot of passion. <laughs> a lot of energy. Emotional leader for this Philippine team. Espejo back at the service line. Now, all players have scored. For the Philippines, except for Retamar, of course, among the starters. Bakunas. Cambodia, able to recover, gives up a free ball to the Philippines. John Vick gets denied. And again, that floor defense of Cambodia helping them to get to that play and score. This was that uh, last play. Block point for Cambodia. Or Vesna and Ratsme have been performing well for Cambodia, Muzi. Right. Philippines, they have to adjust to recognize this too. Magunas getting his third point of the match, but more importantly, ties things up at 12. And Coach Nante giving some instructions to his setter. Good play. Really he delaying everything and uh, all of a sudden going for a combination play. Bin Sarun, who's actually the oldest player on this Cambodian squad. They're young team, they're their oldest player is 25. And their youngest is 18, yeah, Vesna. 18. It's the transition you want from uh, national teams that you have youngsters inside. Like the Tamar really gain from uh, this experience so much. And uh, bring it what? How many more C games? John Vick trying to go for a drop ball just short on that attempt. Cambodia now with their biggest lead of the match 15 to 12. Pinsarun, sharp serve, Retamar, goes to Malabunga. 
but somehow Cambodia able to recover. The floor defense is just licking in this first set. You can see them read all those powerful hits coming from the Philippines. And we see Jack Kaling King coming in for Ricky Marcos. At the second technical timeout, the score is 16 to 12. Cambodia with the lead. 16 kids. Josh Ratamar doing an excellent job getting everybody involved, but Cambodia End of the second technical timeout. suddenly came to life after my rats may come, came in for their team. They should make a great adjustment, Mosey. Mina is an antidote coming from Cambodia, which uh, really remedied their problem in the beginning. And maybe also uh, Cambodia settling down with this hostile crowd and trying to feed off of it. Buma getting that one in. Coach Dante Litsunori, four-time UAP champion coach for National University with three NU Bulldogs. We'll make that four in the starting lineup because we're going to count Ricky Marcos as the libero. And Pakunas gets a block. Right, solid block right there. Pakunas reading that offense well. It's a combination of play back row attack. Timing by Ryan Pagunas. De Guzman. They go to the opposite side again, and this time the Philippines able to put up a wall. And time Cambodia, out, Cambodia. Calls a timeout after those two straight points. Mozi, this is a very important juncture in this match. And, uh, you know, the coach that, uh, I mean, in the months and months that I always talk to him about the national team, he's always telling me that the focus of their training is always that net system, that net defense, because he knows that uh, they can uh, be in an advantage if they have a really well-organized net system. So... I guess uh, even when I asked him what's your, what improved on your team, he's, uh, that's the first thing that he said. He thinks that uh, his system now works. But uh, when I asked him also what he thinks is lacking in their uh, training is, your defense can do this in heaven. So let's see. Well, so that's why they wanted to stop at the net. Uh, Ricky Marcus will uh, lead them in oh, that department. Yeah. <laughs> Kalinking is also there. Yeah. Mr. Everywhere. Meanwhile, Sokheng is able to get the point for Cambodia. 17 to 15. Kalinking gets the pass properly to Retamar. Bakunas overshoots that one. Trying to go down the line. And also, something I uh, coach that also maybe in spite of uh, having that long training in Japan, they still lack that game experience against international teams. So, ito, 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 I, I kind, kind of see that here. And we're going to need a lot more of that from Marcus Pejo. And that's one thing Cambodia hasn't figured out. The back row attack of the feed of Marcus Pejo. Because you'd see that the, they only assign one blocker when he's at the back. When the, he goes for that back row attack. But when he's in front, like three players, three blo blockers for Morgan Espejo. Here come the big guns, Mosey. Espejo and Bakunas. Eighteen to 17, Cambodia holding on to this one-point lead. That bounces out. Josh Renamar, that is a good boost for his confidence. Hit the head. The Cambodian player goes out. Max May finally getting denied there as the Philippines ties things up at 18. Bagunas made sure to get that one in. Max May again. Ooh. He has really been... The headache yep. for uh, the Philippine team. And he's a lefty too, Mosey. So he's a tough nut to crack. That's right. In the Philippines, they have to be mindful of him. Great recovery there. Does it go back to the Cambodian side? Yes, it does. 
middle attack is good for Cambodia. They're just playing energized volleyball. Paul Ratanak. Timeout, Philippines. Versus Coach Dante and Simone to call a timeout. Now, this is what you were talking about, Mosey. Their net system, it has to come into play at this juncture. That is right. And uh, in plays like this one, they really have to stop it at the net because it's so difficult to get it from floor defense because it's such a powerful hit. So at least you, you, you at least must deflect the ball, slow down that ball through your net uh, defense. Now, coming into this game, everybody was saying Cambodia, a team that is not known for volleyball, a team that is not in the Southeast Asian Games radar, but giving the Philippines a handful of problems here in the very first set. And from what I know, they've been really training in Thailand. Like, they train there. I mean, it's not like as if we're in one month or something. They really train here to get their volleyball skills better. Thailand, of course, four straight gold medals in this Southeast Asian Games. But, but Indonesia has the most gold medals in men's volleyball. With nine. And again, a ball directed towards the way of Maya Raxme, but not that time. The toss was too close yes, to the net. Yes, yes, it was over set, close to the net. So the Philippines should take advantage of a bad error. Try to get a little bit of momentum. Too much on that serve for Kim Alabuna. Now every error here will be costly for either national team. Here's the captain, Son Chanaro, the setter for Cambodia. And Amar, who will he go to? Goes to the back row for Bagunas. Clearly you can see uh, Cambodia was ready for that hit already. Two blockers. The story for set number one, Actually, Maya Raxme. Imagine that, a clean block. Espejo powers that one through. There you go, Espejo. Getting revenge on that last play. Substitution for the Philippines. Number three out, number 17, Jesse Lopez. Here is where, when you need a veteran center. I, I, this is how I pictured you line up the uh, coach Dante. But crunch time, you need a Jesse Lopez inside. The lone representative from Far Eastern University, UAP champion, former best setter and best server as well. And but then Smea, that is crucial. Seven points. Espejo. Seven points for Mark Espejo here in this opening set. Ties the match up at 22. Lopez getting that one in. Quick attack. And Marcos. He's a bit late on uh, that deflection. Look at that middle attack. In the center of Cambodia, their captain has done a splendid job here in this first set. Chanaro. Oh, but uh, Marcus Feo once again getting it through the blockers on the other side. He's just trying to put the Philippines on his back right now. Mark Espejo is. Very important serve for Mark. And now he's at the service line. 23 all. Rolling the dice. And what a block right there. Francis Saura puts the Philippines at set point. Perfectly timed block. Francis Saura. Look at it go. He just read Ratanak like a book. And look at the celebration. I'm getting goosebumps oh, hearing that, <laughs> that chant of Filipinas. That's right, that's right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's so hard not to cheer. Mosey, they had to make it this exciting. Opening set. Why First not? Volleyball match. They have to make it this exciting. And wherever you are watching this, we hope you're enjoying. We hope you're cheering your hearts out for the Philippines as they try to take this first set win 
in men's volleyball, Espejo. Amonia on the attack, that's a sharp one. Amonia not giving up. Mesna has starred for Cambodia here, along with Raxme and their center, Chanaro. Sadly, that's the one-two punch of Cambodia in this first set. Dying of the first set. There's the pass. There's the set. There's the hit! Cambodia able to recover a chance for them to take the lead, but they give up a very high free ball. Kalinking. Lopez to Bagunas. Chanaro goes up top for Vesna, and Vesna puts Cambodia back up on top. And you knew he was going to do that. He already saw the hands of the blockers and really went for that high bounce. Look at him go. Timeout, Philippines. And now Coach Nantel Lutsinorin has to talk things over with his players. Everybody inside the Field Sports Arena in passing just trying to hold their breath because Cambodia has an opportunity to take the first set here against the Philippines. The Philippines got the set point first, but Cambodia not succumbing to the pressure. Philippines has got to watch out for Vesna and Raxme. They have been dominant here in this opening set. Oh, and Cambodia with an error. Paul Ratanak wishing he could get that one back. Substitution for the Philippines. And more Number firepower coming out. in. Number eight, Mark From the University of Santo Tomas, Mark the Beast Alfafara. And you like how Coach Tati is playing this one. He is not, a, you know, he's risking it, putting in a few legs inside at this crucial juncture. Two time UAP best scorer, Mark Alfafara. Unfortunately, then, uh, that risk did not pay off for Kush, though. For the Philippines. Number eight out, number 12, Francis Saura in. Sarun coming in now to serve for Cambodia. Another opportunity for them. Need a good receive. Running attack. The first one for the Philippines. It wasn't the most powerful of hits, but because Malabunga is 6 foot 6, he's going to Number 17 out. Number 3, Joshua Ratamar in. And Ratamar is being sent in once again. Malabunga with that power tip. And what a time. What a time, Ozzy, for the first running attack. No one uh, contested that one. Great job by the veteran Jesse Lopez to make the Cambodia team work. 26 all. Oh, Espejo knew that ball was going out, Mosey. When in doubt, let's take a look at this one once again. Espejo was already on the line, actually. He knew it. Poor decision on his part. Another chance for Cambodia. Bagunas on the drop. Another chance now for the Philippines. Bagunas will try against three blockers. Retamar! Josh Retamar, the 19-year-old. And when you're young, sometimes you just uh, not beast by uh, all of this and uh, Retamar on this last play just going for that push and getting that point. Experience points are being gathered by Josh Retamar here in the SEA Games. 27 all. Quick attack from the middle does not work. Oh, and that will be, that will be called out, so check this time. Saro in this Looking at the officials there here. There is a challenge on the call by Cambodia. The first Net challenge fault. of the match, Mosey. And what a moment for it to come. <laughs> Both teams just don't want to let go. Here in the opening set. <laughs> this is really a close one. 
Oh, they, they took some long touch. You have to choose which one you have uh, to check. about you guys but I'm sitting at the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> and it's just a percent <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and the score just tells us how hard it is to just get going here in this opening match. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge was unsuccessful. The challenge was a block touch pose. Yeah. And we saw on that replay that there was none. Woo. So that was clear, crystal clear. Philippines will take the point and another opportunity to take set number one. Bakunas. That was a heavy, heavy serve. Racks me again. Is denied. Kim Alabunga closes the first set to the delight of the, the end Filipino of the fans. First set, the scores one time for Malabunga got that solid block. Take the win. Really mindful of this attack. Oh, it was Retamar. Oh, Retamar. So it was uh, Retamar in this uh, tail end of the first set, getting those crucial points. One with a push. The first one with a push and this block. How about that for the 19-year-old? Josh Retamar, the Philippines, takes set number one against Cambodia in a hard-earned type of way. 29-27 in the 30th Southeast Asian Games.